Hello everyone and welcome to Uber Services Princess. In this part we are finally <laughs> done with uh, trying to find bugs in the twilight and we are gonna, I, I think we try to figure out what the hell's up with Ilya at this point because we care about her theoretically. Right theoretically. Now. We're supposed to. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're told to. we care about her. I'll, I'll take the game's to. word for that because I sure don't. <laughs> yeah. Although, okay, so you see, whenever uh, people talk about the NPCs and Twilight Princess not really having much personality, I kind of feel like I disagree with them for a little bit because we also we have this guy up here who's like my favorite person in the entire world. This is my my spirit animal right here or spirit NPC, I suppose whatever. I love I forget his name though, which I suppose As he stares directly into your tummy. Hey, you know, maybe he's just jealous cuz you were star <laughs> you were staring at his abs. I, I was editing that, that part like two days ago. You were staring at Link's abs when he was shirtless. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, why can't he okay, do it? Okay, but I will say that his shirt was off, so I mean, there was a reason. <laughs> well, maybe he's just <laughs> using his imagination. I don't know. But the that, That's some intense imagination. <laughs> anyway, this is the best cutscene in the franchise. Don't at me. No, the one of him repairing the... The bridge uh, of the cannon? Oh yeah, that one's yeah. pretty good too. But this one is is great. Where it's just like, this technically, this is the kind of thing that happened in Wind Waker. Like, Link literally got shot out of a cannon in that, in that game too. So Why am I getting a strange sense of deja vu? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we don't see him... Unfortunately, you don't have the splat though. Yeah, which, I mean, to be fair, Wind Waker Link probably has sturdier bones because he's smaller and less lanky. So they probably don't break as much. I would imagine, whereas this Link it would he's, all, he's also a cartoon, so... Yeah, we, so... Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think it's a matter of strength, because I think this is, like, canonically one of the strongest Links in the franchise. Well, what would make you say that? Because, like, in terms of, like... Ball and chain weapon. Well, he also... <laughs> he also... If you try to carry that thing around, he's, like, lugging it, like, really, really hard. He's, he's still able to move it. Yeah, he's still able to swing the damn thing, and he could wear the iron boots on top of that. Yeah, I mean, I suppose... And he also carries all of that in his pockets he as also, he's walking around. Look at him roll. He also sumo wrestles and he fucking tosses goats. Okay, well he sumo <laughs> wrestles and cheats. I should I should mention that. And the goats he thing. He still sumo wrestles. He was able to beat the mayor, who was like three times as big as him, though. The mayor's cheating. also got yeah, arthritis, though, and probably hasn't sumo wrestled in 20 years. You know. Doesn't matter. He's freaking heavy, man. <laughs> Okay, put it this way. He can sumo wrestle with a pile of rocks and not have his shin snap. Let me put it this way, okay? There's a reason that in combat sports, people are divided into weight classes. Weight matters. Size matters. It's not how you use yeah, it. Matt. If you are significantly <laughs> bigger than your opponent, you are probably going to win. <laughs> but all the girls I've talked to said... Were, were they just humoring me? Yeah, oh. See, this is why the WBVA is a boxing association is bullshit. <laughs> yeah, let's just put the let's just put the 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 five the five put the five seven one hundred pound tiny person against fucking King Hippo. Yeah, that'll work. Mike out. Tyson. Ow. <laughs> Don't know. It's right Mr. Dream, shin. Ryan. Mike Tyson. <laughs> I like how Nintendo didn't take Mike Tyson out of Punch Out because of the rape allegation. They did it because his contract expired. It's like Is that what it was? Because I've been hearing like different stories. It's about because of his contract. Years. It's his contract expired. Because I I've been hearing I know so much about the rape allegations, but I thought also because he lost to Buster Douglas and he wasn't champion anymore. I don't uh, there was a lot of it was not I'll say we don't model games off of losers. <laughs> well I I also heard it may have something to do with the ear biting incident. No, no, but that was that was that was in 1997. True. Uh, My eyebrows you know. just keep going up, and I'm like, what? <laughs> I haven't heard about any of this. So I'm like, whoa. Mike Tyson did not have a good couple of years. I'll just yeah, it, it sounds like yeah, pretty much. So sounds like a rough still, time. Probably still wipe the floor with all of us without breaking a sweat. All of us <laughs> well, at the same time. Too. At the same so time, so yeah. earlier we he'll, were, he'll make we orphans were, out of our oh, kids. Oh, oh, Ted, should you say that now? I want a Dynasty Warriors Mike Tyson edition <laughs> where all the soldiers and brain scratch members. So <laughs> earlier we were talking about Shulk, and now we're about to learn a back slice. So no, this is this is back slice, not back slash. Totally different. So I do like the one thing that I do like about Twilight Princess is that the combat there's a lot more combat options. 
the thing is, is that while some of them are incredibly situational, and I forget that I have them, some of them are really OP, and I use them all the time, like the backslice. Like, I'll just yeah. go, I'll jump, or I jump around like crazy, you'll see, later on in the it's game. About as, it's still about as useful as it was in Wind Waker. It, oh, uh, this was a move that was in Wind Waker 2. Well, the, the, the sliding yep. counter yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, how it's basically yeah, the, back the same thing. Is a, it, yeah, it's the same exact move. How many moves were added in Wind Waker? Like, cause I know that there's the super duper a spin few. moves. Uh, well, there's the, the counter slice. The there's helm splitter. The, uh, jump, yeah, the helm splitter. Okay. <sighs> God damn it! I'm trying to save my amnesiac girlfriend. Can't this wait? <laughs> oh, I guess you don't want these amnesiac carrying pills then. Okay, then <laughs> he bye. He gives you a letter, and it, he gives you a letter. It's from Elia. What's taking you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, so senpai. So these we left these letters at your house, but nobody was there to pick them up. So we took them back to our warehouse, and you can pick them up in seven to nine days if we're there at that time. <laughs> Why do you make me sign for a two-ounce letter of nothing of importance, but you'll leave a thousand-dollar computer part just sitting on my porch? Uh, I'm sorry, you're breaking up. Uh, we're going through an elevator right now. Uh, we just got a letter telling us that the cannon shooting place is open now. Uh, I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, it is. I don't know why the river, the river and the lake are back to normal that's, now, that's like... considering that the amount of pressure, like, because even if the river was flowing like normal, it would still take probably a week for the lake to fill back up to its normal size. Or if, like, I'm thinking there's two possibilities here. Either the lake doesn't fill fast enough, or the lake fills too flat fast and the entire area just gets flooded outside of the lake. You know? Like, neither of which is good. All of the fish and animals are gonna die, basically, is the point I'm trying to make. So... Yeah. Yeah. Eh... I'm just thinking about how that letter reminds me of all the times I got, like, notices about bills that I owe that I paid three days ago. Um. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, uh, okay, so I hate trying to roll in the town because you accidentally talk to people you don't care about. It's the... Uh, why am I going backwards? Oh, You're uh, the one playing, Ted. I, I know, but I... What am I looking for? T what are you doing? Go talk to Telma. Go talk to. Oh wait, no, I'm trying to. I'm trying to go play with the cats. That's what. I'm For some reason, the art style here. And oh, the, this is important. The, uh, overhead. This is important. Oh, you can important. hug them. This you can hug them. Oh, necessary. They love. They love you. They love you so much. Yay! <laughs> there we go. The, this. I love that. Oh my and god. And they, they, they want. Why can't you? real life cats treat me like that? Whenever I'm at a yeah, friend's yeah. house and I see the cat, I try to pet it, and then it'll like bad at me and then leave and I'm like I, okay okay actually like this was pretty recent but I had a cat storm my house a few months back wait what like it broke in and decided this was its place now <laughs> yes pretty much it just legitimately stormed my house and it's like hello <laughs> it's like, I live man, here this now is the house. <laughs> so, something similar happened to my mother um and it was slightly awkward because my stepfather is allergic to cats, but for some reason he oh, hasn't had a reaction no. to this specific cat yet. The cat just camped out in the backyard shed, and they couldn't get rid of it. Every time they chased it away, it came back. <laughs> so they've adopted it now. <laughs> it's, it's also the only cat that has ever stuck around when I tried to pet it, so... Yeah. Oh, what a sweetheart. It might have belonged to someone else. Oh, you see, you say it's a sweetheart, but it's really just a freeloader, if you think about Whatever. it. Whatever. <laughs> it's a sweetheart because it's adorable and cute, and cats are our rulers. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's, the, to be fair, that is how it, how it is, because, like, um, in terms of <laughs> domestication, like, we trained dogs in order to do what we wanted them to do in a process that took, like, 10,000 or 20,000 years or whatever, whereas cats, cat. cats, I think, are only, like, like relatively young like i think three or so thousand years i'd have to look it up but basically we didn't really so much domesticate them as they ate the rats they that were us. <laughs> they ate the rats that were taking our food and we were happy enough and with that disease to <laughs> so we just kept them around and you know they were chill with it so we didn't really so much yeah. as domesticate them as they just live here now <laughs> so they're f they, they also can just like scratch scratch your face up and it's just like I have been blessed. I mean we have studies to mo that more or less have shown that cats recognize that we are calling them specifically they just don't give a shit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. 
<laughs> hey, you folks think Garfield's an exaggeration. No, it's a real life chronicle, baby. <laughs> We're all John Arbuckle. <laughs> <laughs> That's I don't depressing. have a cat, so it might so so do I, so, so am I living Garfield minus Garfield? <laughs> John, the fact <laughs> that I'm right. John Arbuckle is the saddest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Telma's the best character in the game, and why wasn't she made playable for Twilight for Hyrule Warriors instead of Agatha? I hate this. I hate my life. Okay, I would have taken any of the other party than Agatha. Uh, it's it was such a weird addition, I guess, because like Xant and Minna were the obvious choices, but if they wanted, like Minna's like now that I think about it, Twilight Princess is the only specific game to initially get more than two characters. Um, I guess you could kind of count Ocarina of Time if you wanted to count Sheik, I guess, but... I mean, technically it does. Yeah, yeah it does. I would say well, that counts. Yeah, but she's also just Zelda, so, you know. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? Spoilers? Wow, we man. We did that playthrough six years ago. <laughs> 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 Holy shit, that was actually six years ago. It was like 2012, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Because you have to remember we did that before we did Majora's Mask, and in Majora's Mask, the... During uh, Majora's Mask, yeah, they announced three Majora's Mask 3D. 3D, yeah, so... Time oh. flies, right? Yeah. I, honestly, I think Agatha was just chosen because of just, just, just how much she sticks out. Senpai? <laughs> in, in, in a game with the character designs that are, for Zelda standards, I feel relatively reserved. We, Agatha we literally like just really had the clown sort of with fun. no shirt on, and... Yeah, I know. But and he and you said that he's a, like your favorite character in the game, and I feel it's because he sticks well, out. Well, the, the you know, thing it's... is, is that I'm also not showing a lot of characters, uh, some characters like uh, that you know don't have any purpose. Like for example, the fortune teller lady. Um, her design's neat, and she also has cool dialogue when you're looking because she'll just tell you where heart pieces and stuff are, basically. And um, she says like a little incantation, but it's something like this is to mask loading, back, written backwards. Or something like that, <laughs> which is. <laughs> who who likes okay, escort quests? Like the, yep. Like the party members that you have later on, sort of party members, the mercenaries or what have you. Yeah, they, they could have done them. They could have done them, but once as we we'll get to them after the the. Zora I'm pretty temple. sure horses wouldn't like run while pulling a cart. Uh, if you push them hard enough, they they try. I mean, it's a lot of work for a horse to run while pushing that much weight, but... Acceleration. Yeah. Oh, hey, oh. are you guys ready to fight him again? God damn it. Yeah, oh, yeah. I forgot about this one. Oh, he's doing some Final Fantasy three strats there. Well how, are you, well, how are you supposed to attack when you're using only shields? Uh, I, you see, my friend Steve knows all about that. Unfortunately, I'm not nearly as athletic as he is, so... Uh, you know what a shield is? It's just a big hunk of metal. You can bash someone's brains in with a shield quite effectively. Ted, the only reason Steve can do that kind of shit is because he has a really special shield. <laughs> yeah, it's a, the best shield ever. It's, like, made out of... <laughs> it can bounce like that, okay? Just trust us. Anyway, I think you can swipe him normally, but if you throw bomb arrows at him anyway... He dies in two he hits. He yeah. dies uh, in two hits. I honestly didn't know you could throw bomb arrows at him. I, I didn't either until I watched the speedrun. Also, we're really lucky that he dropped the keys. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you forgot your reward for beating me. Okay, look, Minna, we're going to have to jump down again and do the flying minigame all over again, all right? Let's go, honey. How are you supposed to fly with that thing as a human? It'll just have to flap its wings very, very hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that didn't happen. I didn't die. You nope. just took a nap on the bridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With your face on the ground. <laughs> you sacrificed all but three arrows. hearts. Boy, am I tired. <laughs> so anyway, this uh, one thing I do appreciate about Twilight Princess is... They do try to add a bunch of different set pieces to liven up the game at this point, because... Like they had the the fight scene after the um, after the Goron Temple where you're uh, chasing King Bulblin with the for Colin, and now they have the horse escort mission here, which I actually think is relatively okay. It's just annoying. It's not the worst escort mission I've ever done, but it just feels kind of it just it just feels a bit padding. I think I think it's nice that it's faster paced. Yeah. 
It is neat but, how if so a fire arrow gets stuck on the cart, you can swish it away with your wind boomerang. No, no, but if you got, like, got, you see, uh, clearly what I just, what I've learned from this mini game is that Ted really likes Link's crossbow training because he just intercepted an arrow with another arrow. Wait, did I do that? Like, mid Yeah, you did that, like, a minute ago. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Obviously like, not on purpose if you don't remember doing Skywars. it. That's some legless <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> For the right. Yeah, it's really yeah, yeah. Emphasis on bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the man who never runs out of arrows in his quiver. That's no. that that stuff is kind of elf. that stuff is kind of hard to pull off in a game like this. It's not like Resi Four where you can just shoot axes out of the air, no problem. Yeah. Ugh. So the only annoying thing about the 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 escort thing, I think, is this section right now where you're in yeah, the they, southern. Yeah, if they get yeah, if they get hit, they will make a loop instead of going forward more. Which is annoying because you don't really get a lot of like if you just manage. There's not a lot of leeway. If you manage to get the um, uh, Minna. Oh, oops. Uh, <laughs> oops, I pressed the button by accident, I guess. But if you press the button. Minna if, thinks this is a great time to talk. Yeah, if you manage to save the, the wagon in a bad place, it'll have to take a really long loop back, and then it's likely to get hit again and then start another loop, basically. So you're honestly better off fixing the. taking care of the enemies before trying to heal. The uh, before you're trying to, to heal the wagon because if you put out the fire it becomes less burned. Okay, that that's how that works. All right. But yeah, I, I I think it's a it's a good enough it's a good enough little mini game. If they didn't drop if the enemies didn't drop arrows it'd be impossible. But you know, you can also get off your horse, but you shouldn't because except for opening the gate. I really wish just for this mini game you could just open it without having to get off the horse though because it's really really aggravating trying to get on and off the horse specifically especially when there's a wagon in the way. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to let you go in front of me. Okay, there you go. Now I'll help. <laughs> I didn't want to have to turn Opono around in an area this yeah. small. <laughs> was the problem. Also, okay, so I, I looked this up. Apparently Opono controls worse in the HD version than she does in the original version. Like, you'll kind of see... Really? You'll kind of see Epona, like, swiveling around an awful lot, and that's because Epona can only move in wider arcs in this version, whereas in the SD version, she could move on a finer grain, if that makes sense, so you can make more precise turns. And so you'll... I find that really interesting because, honestly, I've always hated how she controlled in... The Wii version? Like, I've always felt that she's super hard to control in this game. She feels very but, loose. Like, like, you see me run her yes, into walls all the time. It, all the time. And I, I totally feel that. So I'm surprised that they made it worse in the HD version. I So this is something that I... Like, I was interested in speedruns of this game, so I looked it up. And th it's something that someone mentioned at some point. And I don't know if it's really, like, that much worse or if they're just playing things up because that's just how they kind of are. Where, you know, they'll say, right. oh man, where was the QA for this game? All I have to do in order to destroy it is stand at this wall and swipe at it for three hours. You know, man, how <laughs> did they not find that? Lol, 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 lol. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not bitter about those kinds of comments or anything. I don't know what what would me even make you think that. <laughs> so, yeah, we saved the, the Zora baby. Or mostly, I think. And we were doing this so that the Zora mom would give us the armor we need in order to go into the next dungeon, if I remember correctly. Uh, we don't know that yet. <laughs> no, uh, well, the, uh, we knew that if, she, we knew that the Zora mom said that if we helped her son, we'd get something useful. I don't, yeah. and I think, I think we can kind of piece it together at this point, but I don't think if anybody's ever said it specifically, you know, like just directly at us. Colin, your story's over, What? <laughs> You're not important to anyone. <laughs> Sit on the bench with the rest of the kids. Be gone. You, you had your time. You had your five minutes in cutscenes. You can go away now. You squandered it all, child. It's Ilya's turn to be the character we're supposed to care about. Doesn't matter that I think you're way more interesting than she is. You, 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 you <laughs> you're gone now. Which is funny because he's like five years old. Yeah, like I mean, he's got, he's actually got a character arc. You know, well, is, try to anyway. Well, yeah, yeah, like they. Okay, I like Colin. I I'm crapping on him a little bit, but I like Colin. Yeah, I like Colin. The thing is that Ilya didn't really have 
any kind of... We, we didn't get a chance to like her before she lost her memory, I think is the big thing. Like, you kind of feel like you're supposed to like her because she's sweet to you and she's... She's the Saria of this game. Yeah, basically. And, you know, she had, like, exactly one funny moment with the the horse early, early, early on. But you don't get a chance to, like, get really attached to her, I would say. Whereas even... So, also, tell me, how tall are you if you just are over Link by that much? Well, Link's also Is tiny. She real tall. Link's like, what, 5'2 or something like that? He's supposed to be like 17 years old in this game. He should yeah, be taller. But, yeah, but he's also, if you look at the models, he's also half as tall as Ganondorf. Uh, like, actually. Well, I mean, Ganondor- well, I, Ganondorf, I've always, uh, like... Ganondorf, I always assumed, was going to be like... A, giant. A, yeah, a big, a giant well, guy. Well, that, that woman was taller than Link, and the Indian guy over there is taller than her. Yeah, I'd yeah. say Link's pretty short. He's a pipsqueak. Yeah, that, that's always been a thing about Zelda, is, is that Link's supposed to be really... Oh, hi! Am um, I, wh- wow, why are okay. you haunting me? Uh, the Assassin's Creed 2 said it's that way. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I'm a ghost. Ooh. This way, um, excuse me. I'm pretty sure you are a hallucination right now, so I'm I, gonna go. Time for a nap. Just as an aside, I do really like this version of the Serenade of Water. Oh, this is yeah, the Serenade absolutely. of Water. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. You see, I don't remember any of the songs from Ocarina of Time from the second half of the game. Like, I remember the ones that do stuff, like the 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 Song of Storms, like the Sung Song. Like I remember. I mean, those the Serenade ones. of Water is a real good shortcut, though. Uh, that's like the only one like, that's useful, though, right? Because it takes you to Lake Hylia, whereas yeah, like, and you have to go there quite a bit. Yeah, where, especially if you're getting everything. Yeah, all the yeah, others exactly. take you to weird, so, out of the way dungeon places, and it's like, no. Yeah, out of Why any of the war songs, I'd imagine Why the that that's hell one would of I the go most inside memorable a ones. The Prelude of Light takes you to the Temple of Time, right? Yeah, useful. that's like the most iconic. Yeah. yeah, that's the that and the Serenade of Water are probably the only useful ones in the game. Everything else, arguably, know. maybe Nocturne of Shadow because that takes you to Kakariko Village immediately, but you get that so late in the game that it's kind of like eh, eh. whatever. <laughs> It's also like one of the easiest ones to skip, if I remember correctly. If you're using yeah, you, get, you can miss it if you come from Kakariko Village the wrong say, the wrong way. <laughs> uh. That's so sad. <laughs> Old games were weird when the, when it came to programming. It's honestly, it's funny to me. I love finding out weird programming yeah, stuff like it's, that. Yeah, it's it's I, I highlight old games in particular because new games when we ha- when new games have programming issues, they're pretty run of the mill. Clipping problems or you you can or collision issues, you know, basic shit. But old games had some weird programming quirks because we were still learning how to program games. <laughs> also, I can't imagine that QA was terribly great back then. Well, they wouldn't figure people would actually try doing stuff like that. Now we yeah. have the internet and people will try to do anything. Can you beat Super Mario 64 without jumping, collecting coins, beating an enemy, or collecting any stars? Guy, there's, <laughs> Let's a, there's, find a guy, there, there's a guy who goes around beating um, 2D Mario games and never pressing right. <laughs> Can you beat Super Mario 64 without turning the console off? <laughs> yes, you yeah, can. You take a hammer and you beat it. <laughs> That's another thing. It's like oh even a, even if you can count on most players not being crazy enough to try stuff like that, nowadays there are people who make ad revenue by specifically trying to see how broken they can make a game and then uh, showing it off on YouTube and stuff. Hi, son of a glitch. So. 